Hey there, this is Khan and Trans Medici. Video shooting involves many important components and one of them is light. If you see this video, it looks a little bit okay without the light, but what if if I switch on light? It makes this video a lot better. Today we are going to see how to make this beautiful video shooting lights which can be used for video shooting like this or as a rounded lights. Let's see how. We'll start by selecting the LEDs for this project. Today we'll be selecting these white 10 watt LEDs as they're very bright. We'll be making two lights, so we'll be using two LEDs. I'll be using these cake molds as reflectors. You can also use any steel cups. I'll be using a ribbon cable for connecting the LEDs to the power supply and an LED driver as a power supply. I have already attached a plug with a wire to the AC input of this power supply. First we'll start by making holes in these reflectors. These holes will be used to pass the wires from the LEDs. Separate 4 wires from the ribbon cable, 2 for each LED. Strip the ends of these wires so that we can solder this to the ends of the LED. Pass the ends of the wire through the hole of the reflector and solder these wires to the LED. Secure the connections with some insulation tape to avoid any short circuit. Now stick the LEDs to the reflectors using some two part epoxy. Here the reflector will itself act as a heatsink. If you see that the reflector is heating too much then you can also use an external heatsink by sticking it just behind the reflector. Now the epoxy is dry. I connected the two ends of the two LED wires to the power supply to test it. Take care of the polarity to avoid any damage to the LEDs or the power supply. Now let's test it. Before finishing off the connections, insulate all open ends to avoid any short circuit. To make the diffuser, I'll be using a white color polythene cover. I'll keep the reflector face down on this polythene cover and stick the ends of this cover onto the reflector. Secure the joint with some more tape. As you can see, now the light is much softer. You can see its difference when the diffused and undiffused lights are kept side by side. The shadows are much softer in the diffused light. I have prepared both the lights parallelly and as you can see they look really good. Now let's fit them on my video shooting stand and test the quality. This is my video shooting stand I made using PVC pipe. The mobile would be sitting here to shoot the video from overhead. These lights are fixed temporarily on this PVC pipe using small metal clamps made from cotton tin. Now testing the quality of light. Even the introduction of this video was shot using these lights and you can clearly see the difference. That's all for today. If you like this video, you might like some of my other videos too. Visit my channel Electronic Made Easy Khader for more fun projects. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.